God's Awesome Anatomy, Episode 1. Hello everyone, my name is Taiwo. I welcome you to the first episode of my podcast titled God's Awesome Anatomy. This podcast will take us through the amazing wisdom, the amazing knowledge and power of our God. We will see how wonderful it is that he created us as human beings in his own image. These revelations will give us insight into why we should be eternally thankful to God for being human beings. The book of Genesis 1, 26 to 27 reads, Then God said, Let us make man in our image, after our likeness, and let them have dominion over the fish of the sea, and over the birds of the heavens, and over the livestock over all the earth, and over every creeping thing that creeps on the earth. So God created man in his own image. In the image of God, he created him. Male and female, he created them. Isn't that wonderful? That God loved us so much that he said, let me make replicas of myself. So we are replicas of God. He created us in his image. And he describes us as being wonderfully and fearfully made. God created us for the purpose of one thing, to praise him so that he might be glorified. So if we do not appreciate who we are and our purpose on earth, that we are missing a great thing indeed. God knew every single one of us before we were formed in our mother's wombs. Let's read the book of Isaiah 46, verse 10, which says, Declaring the end from the beginning, and from ancient times, things not yet done, saying, My counsel shall stand, and I will accomplish my purpose. God is our Alpha and our Omega, our beginning and ending. We are the accomplished purpose of God. The book of Psalms, chapter 139, verses 15 to 16 also says, My friend was not hidden from you when I was being formed in secret, intricately woven in the depths of the earth. Your eyes saw my unformed substance in your book, were written, even every one of them, the days that were formed for me, when as yet there was none of them. God intricately wove us in the depths of the earth. He saw us while we were yet unformed. And he wrote everything about us in his books. He knows the days that we're going to spend on this earth, even before we were formed. We need to appreciate that. Psalm 22, 9 to 10 also says, You are he who took me from the womb. You made me trust you at my mother's breasts. On you was I cast from my birth and from my mother's womb. You have been my God. When we were in our mother's wombs, God watched us. He monitored every aspect of our lives. And when we were born and breastfeeding, he was with us. Before we could talk, before we could turn ourselves, before we could do anything, God was with us. Psalm 150 verse 6 says, Let everything that has breath praise the Lord. Praise the Lord everything that has breath. If you are breathing, you should be praising God every day. From the time you wake up till you go to bed, let everything about you, about your life, praise the Lord. 
everyone listening to me right now has a breath. So praise the Lord with me. Praise ye the Lord. Praise God Almighty. Why do we have to praise God? Regardless of our situations and circumstances, let us remember that many people died in their mother's wombs. Many died on the day of their birth. Many died in infancy. Many died in their childhood days. Many died as young adults. Many died in their midlife and many died in a ripe old age. So if you're alive today, you have a reason to praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. It doesn't matter what your present condition is. It doesn't matter whether you're ill. It doesn't matter whether you're handicapped. It does not ma matter whether you're poor or rich. Whether you're waiting for something that to happen that has not yet happened to you. The fact that you are still alive today is a reason for you to praise God. Because you know, another thing is, God inhabits our praises. That means when we praise the Lord, he comes down and he's with us. So when you're praising him, you're inviting him to your presence. And then he can have ears to listen to your needs. And when you are constantly praising him, he says that even before your need arises, that he will meet your needs. So if you're constantly inviting him to your presence by praising him and glorifying his name, he will be always near to you. Psalm 103 verse 2 says, Bless the Lord, O my soul, and forget not all his benefits. Think of the good things God has done in your life from the day you were born to date. And praise him for them. Surely there will be something good that you can remember in your life. No matter your experiences. There will be some reasons if you can think about them. Why you should praise the Lord. Psalm 100 verses 1 to 5 says, Make a joyful noise to the Lord. All the earth. Serve the Lord with gladness. Come into his presence with singing. Know that the Lord, he is God. It is he who made us. And we are the people of his, uh, we are his people and the sheep of his pastures. Undoubtedly, God made us. And he calls us the sheep of his pastures if we are following him. If we are following his directions, if we are obeying his commands, then we become his sheep. Enter his gates with thanksgiving and his courts with praise. You enter the gates of the Lord when you thank him. If you go to visit someone now, for them to open the gate for you, you have to identify yourself. So your thanksgiving gives you an identity to for God to allow you into his court. And then you get into his courts. That means you are visiting the king of kings. You are in the house of the president of presidents. You should praise him when you get there. For the Lord is good. His steadfast love endures forever. And his faithfulness to all generations. So with thanksgiving... You open the gates of the Lord. And with your praise, you are able to enter his courts. To sit with him and dine with him and fellowship with him. So it's very, very important for us to realize this. Psalm 95 verse 6 says, Oh come, let us worship and bow down. Let us kneel before the Lord our maker. So this makes a reference to kneeling before the Lord, our maker. That means we have different methods of praising and worshiping God. You can praise God and worship him standing up. You can praise God and worship him sitting down. You can praise God and worship him kneeling. Kneeling is a form of reverence. 
That means you totally submit. You acknowledge him that, oh, my father, you are higher than I am. I am totally submitted to you. You can praise God by clapping your hands. You can praise God by dancing. You can praise God even in your heart by rejoicing and, and, and turning over in your heart the things that he has done to you. Done for you. You can praise God by testifying to people the good works that he has done in your life. Today, let us praise the Lord Almighty Jehovah. Let us praise Jesus Christ, our Savior, and the Holy Spirit that dwells within us for creating us in his image. You know, God is three in one. He is God the Father, God the Son, God the Holy Spirit. He is one. And when he created us in his image, we are also a physical body, we have a soul, and we have a spirit. So we are three in one, just like God. Let us thank God for giving us a head. A head that contains the most vital organs in our bodies. Let us thank God for our eyes that enable us to see. Let us thank God for our ears that enables us to Hear other people when they talk to us. Hear the birds when they chirp. Hear the rain when it's falling. Hear the storm even as it approaches. Hear everything around us. Let us thank God for the nostrils that allow us to breathe in and out, to inhale oxygen and exhale carbon dioxide. Let us thank God for our mouths that enable us to speak, express what we want, communicate with other people. Our mouths that enable us to eat and enjoy delicious meals. Let us praise God for our necks that support our head and connects our head to our shoulders and our torso. Let us thank God for the contents, the vital organs in our torsos. Let us thank God for our arms and our legs, our hands and feet and everything that he created from the crown of our heads to the soles of our feet. God says he knows the number of ears we have on our heads. Isn't that wonderful? Isn't that awesome? Amazing. You know, so many people have tried. They can, they can try to copy what God has made, but nobody can ever, ever create a human being. Nobody from the scratch. Nobody. They can form, you know, they can use a human being to create another thing that looks like it. But they can never create an original human being. So that is great. Nobody can do it. So do not even, we're not even going to, we're not an imitation of anything. We're God's original so if you're listening to me right now and you have not yet given your life to Jesus Christ or if you have given your life to Jesus Christ and you think you're backslidden or you need some to, to make some amendments or repent of some things that you have done, please repeat this after me. Our Heavenly Father, I thank you for your only begotten son, Jesus Christ, that you sent to the world to die for me. Jesus Christ, I thank you because you died for me on the cross of Calvary and rose again. I thank you for sending me the Holy Spirit, the comforter that is going to dwell in, in me as I confess my sins. And receive Christ as my Savior. I confess my sins. I acknowledge that I am wrong. And I ask for forgiveness from the Lord. And the Lord promises that. If I confess my sins faithfully. That he is going to forgive me. I say bye bye to all my sins. I say bye bye to the devil. Oh Lord please write my name in the book of life. 
in Jesus mighty name. Amen. If you have said these words, congratulations for now you are a new birth. Please ensure to visit any Bible believing church around you. In order to fellowship with other Christians and grow in your Christian life and remain established in God. Now let us praise God. Scientists, 
that you have allowed to study every part of our bodies because you are the one that has infinite wisdom. We thank you that you've, you've given us just a little bit of that infinite wisdom that you have that will allow us to understand the awesome work that you have done in us. Father, we give you all the glory today. We worship you, Lord. We praise your name. Thank you, Jesus. I want you to continue to follow me in this podcast. It will enlighten you and illuminate you. It's not a science project. It's about thanking God. It's about understanding who we are. It is about understanding the parts of our bodies so that we can appreciate. It can heighten our appreciation for God so that we can thank him so much for everything. And this will also help you if you have ailments in any part of your body. It will allow you to understand what exactly what part of your body is ailing so that you can specifically pray about that part of your body. Thank you so much, Father, for today, for this section, one of this podcast. We give you all the glory. We thank you, Lord. Thank you for everyone that's listening. Thank you for everything, oh Lord, that's going on in our lives. Thank you because we know we, we, we are your sheep. Otherwise, we won't be here today. We glorify your name, oh Lord. We praise the Lord. We love you. We love you. We thank you so much. Be thou exalted, oh Lord. Be thou magnified. Our souls will praise your name forever. All power, all honor, all adoration be unto you, unto you, our God. Thank you all for listening to me today. This is yours truly, Taiwo. Peace and love to all. Bye.